Got all my books here. Got most of my props. <laughs> Got eight cards and six stands. So we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. <laughs> I'm not sure how. Yeah. It's amazing how things just disappear. <laughs> it's like, wow, there was eight in that pile. Now there's six. All right. It's all good. Let's do eight ones today. I love I love eight ones. It's a very exciting card to me. It's about forward movement, passionate communication. Eights are, well, for me, an eight is a number of new beginnings. I always see all my eights as new. It's a very positive, very high vibrational card about forward movement. I have some of my favorites right here. that I want to share with you. Now, eight wands traditionally is the only, well, there's two minor arcana that only have the pips in them. Well, one of them's eight wands. Traditionally, that doesn't have any people in that card. Who's got the other one right here? The other tarot card in the minor arcana that traditionally doesn't have any people in it. One is eight wands and the other one is, somebody give it to me right here. There it is right there. Star Love's like right on it. Yeah, it's three swords. Three swords and eight wands traditionally don't have any people in them because, you know, this is all about action and going forward. I like this right here. This is from Tarot of Prague, a Bubba Studios uh, card. Of course, it's oversized and all that, but collectors and all that. It's a beautiful eight wands. I love all the, you can kind of see all the metal that they put in their ink, whatever they call that, cold stamping or something. There's a little angel falling from heaven right there. Lordy, the little dove up there. Is that a stork? A stork. <laughs> Stark, isn't that what they're called? I don't know. Got, got like, you know, the gods be like, ta-da! I love it, man. Beautiful eight wands right there. Cupid's arrows of love flying around. Tarot of Prague. What else we got right here? This is a fun one. Uh, Tarot of the Holy Light. It's always an overtop. Fun tarot deck right here with eight wands. There's the sun lighting the fire. Fire. What else have we got right here with eight wands? Oh, Alice, the Alice tarot from Bubba Studios. There they go. Let's get out of here, Barney. I, 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 I. <laughs> yeah, sun shining, moving in a new direction. Gotta go. Oh, Queen of Wands right there. Be like, go, Alice, go. Love it. Love it. Eight Wands from the Alice Tarot. That's why, you know, we play with lots of different decks. They each got a different story in them. No doubt about that. Here we go. Oh, Mikey's classic. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be him teaching cards without this deck, huh? The Deviant Moon. And, you know, it's got an old crow right there with, with a letter. So that says this is, could be about messages coming in, right? I don't know if she wants them. she got that old sheath right there. Looks like she cutting them down. You know, there's always different flavors that you can throw in uh, with your uh, tarot reading. But primarily, this is a card of positive forward movement. I would say this person is not interested, possibly in the contact. I don't know. Each their own, right? Here we go. What else we got right here? Bohemian Gothic. You know it's going to look like that. Yeah, eight wands. They're like stones. They need to move, man. They need to move. You know, the sky's changing. <laughs> Get gone, man. Yeah, take cover. No, they stand out there. Oh, this one's fun, too. This is uh, the uh, Victorian romance, eight wands. The white elk. And uh, I don't know, a man, it's laundry day, <laughs> except for the cape, him, him, and the, him and the white elk are 
barreling down the mountainside right there. They got a destination. There they go. <laughs> Santa Claus. Forgot it was laundry day. I don't know. It's fun. Uh, let me see. Now, now these are my two I don't have a stand for. So, This is Robert M. Place. Master of tarot and the esoteric. Love Robert M. Place. It's classic. Eight wands. They, they, they put an axe to them, too. <laughs> yeah, too many fires burning. Putting an axe to them right there. Don't want to talk today. That's old school blocking, maybe, with that axe right there. <laughs> I'll put him right over here, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe for a minute. And, of course, a, you know, a classic pip. And a pip is a tarot deck that doesn't have the classic pictures. It just has the symbols in the cards, two through ten. The wands, the cups, the pinnacles, or the swords. And this is eight wands from, wow, from Mythical Creatures Tarot. It's got all that funness in it as well. It's always fun to learn pips because it blows people's minds when you tell them their life story and you ain't got nothing but pictures like that. All right. Let's do it. Let's crack the books right here. That seems to be working to get all my pictures up there for you guys. As we crack the books right here, eight wands, Cupid Zeros of Love. I don't know who branded it that. Somebody on YouTube years ago. It's stuck, boy. It's fun. Going to be teaching from my classics tonight, huh? Terra Fundamentals. I'm sure a couple of you have got your hands on these. There's It's a trilogy, right? There's one, two, and three. Terra Fundamentals, going to teach out of that tonight. It's a Los Scabero product. Going to be teaching a poem from Kim Huggins. This is a book. It comes with the Terra Illuminati kit. Going to be uh, teaching from the Magical Course in Tarot by Michelle Morgan. Amazing descriptions in here. And, well, you know, best for last. Gonna be teaching out of my journal right here. <laughs> How's yours looking? Yeah. Gonna be teaching out of my journal right here. You know, journals are important if you want to be a good tarot reader. I know. I know they tell you you can put your tarot deck under your pillow and all that, but ain't no better way than cracking the books. All right, gonna share with you out of my journal today. Eight wands, Cupid zeros of love. Integrity of speed is what it says right here in Tarot Fundamentals. Let's get a description of Eight of Wands. The Eight of wa the eight Wands flying across the sky offer an extremely dramatic picture of something coming suddenly. Everything in this card represents movement and action, a snapshot of motion. This moment of action allows for a future where anything is possible. That's what I'm talking about. It's a great day as we're coming into this 222 portal for eight wands. Something is certain to happen, but the, but the nature of the outcome is the question. <laughs> hey, eight, eight wands along the same trajectory represent a convergence of energies and events proceeding in the same direction. It represents flow. The card is a critical point of a situation, adrenaline and tension before a milestone. It is the anticipation of an outcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The highest aspect of this card reflects everything that is based on speed and uh, 
that anything based on speed and and uh, dramatics. There we go. Even in a metaphorical sense, from a lower aspect, the card represents a situation where speed takes over and leads to hasty reactions and perhaps even panic. Yeah, we don't want to go there. But it is a very fast-moving energy. Anything that that sets me side, there's going to be some movement. Let's see. See if I can get my words out better right here with the description from the Magical Course in Tarot. The highlights of ambition. The Eight of Wands is a card of action. This is a time of swift movement, channels of communication opening wide, and the unfettered exchange of peer energy. This is a dizzying, there is a dizzying aspect to this card. Things will speed up and change at a moment's notice, and choices and options abound. Now is the time to send messages, make contacts, act on wishes and dreams. Others will see you in a brighter light and, re and respond in love and creativity. Electrified. There is a gypsy carnival at midnight, summer solstice, and the fires of Yule igniting all at once. There we go. Reach for the stars. Yeah, eight wands. Woo! I like eight wands pointing at the star. That one always gets me excited when I'm reading. All right, those are nice descriptions of eight wands. Let's um, let's see some classic interpretations uh, for the meaning of the card if it shows up upright in your tarot spread. Great initiative, activities undertaken, and the speed of work, effectiveness and haste, travel across great distances, rapid achievement. Oh, it's right there. Cupid's arrows of love. Oh, I guess it didn't come from YouTube. <laughs> there we go, man. Cupid's arrows of love. A message. Very nice. Let's see what Kim Huggins says if it shows up upright. Highest aims and goals. Setting your sights high. Swiftness in progress. Astounding achievement, momentum being gained, freedom of thought and desire, giving all your energy to a large number of projects, trying to keep up with your own success. There we go. I like that eight ones right there. What else we got? All right, let's break out Mikey's book right here. Upright, ideas of greatness, ambition, high hopes and expectations, a great drive and passion for a single thing, single-minded focus, all of one's energy put into a single goal or distraction, events carrying one forward in unexpected ways, Force of will and desire driving one onwards, trailblazing and uncharted territory, speed of action, quick bursts of energy, an explosive push towards one's goal, a straight path to one's goal. Yeah, I love it. A uh, couple of... Classic meanings, if it shows up in the reverse on your tarot table. 
remaining closed to new ideas and situations. Little effort is needed. S smooth sailing. Success too early and without the necessary experience. What else do I got on that reversed? Burnout through a large amount of activity over a short period of time. Being unable to stop. Being caught up in the momentum of external events. Too much energy with too little focus. Great expectations without firm foundation. A desire to be noticed by others. Wow, that's good. Astrologically, the Eight of Wands is Mercury in Sagittarius. And the... Uh, Golden Dawn Society's official name for Eight of Wands is Lord of Swiftness. I like it, man. I like Eight of Wands. It's always been one of my favorite cards. Lord of Swiftness. I like that right there. All right. A couple of keywords, buzzwords for Eight of Wands. Trailblazer, swiftness, progress, lofty, pride, dreams, ambition, momentum, achievement, speed, action, air travel, texting. Movement, swift change. You know, I like the texting because it shows how tarot is like us, ever expanding and never completed. More keywords here. Tenacity, guard, defense, border, risking, vigilance. Barriers, labor, work, arrival, experience, adventure, threshold, barrier, brink. All right, you can uh, pause your uh, video anytime you like and put those in your journals if you would like. Eight wands, Cupid's arrows of love, the heights of ambition is what uh, Kim Huggins has named eight wands. She's named them all. The heights of ambition. Let's do her poem right here. These are amazing. Uh, these are like eight wands talking to us personally right here. Eight of wands, the heights of ambition. There is nothing better in this world than to let your dreams and ambitions fly free. There is nothing more perfect than being released from doubt and conflict, strife and difficulties, to rush forward with the gathered momentum of your will and bring your success even closer. Oh, to be a free spirit, to breathe the free air, to blaze trails in uncharted territory. Yet be warned, traveler, once you start this bold path, you must not falter and you must not pause. It is all or nothing. No half measures. So set your sights on the highest goals. Aim for the stars. And who knows where you might find yourself. The height of ambition. Eight wands. Yeah, let's do it. Great card for today with everything going direct. Let's go, let's go, let's get our dreams right here, people. Beautiful, beautiful. Hope you got something out of that. I always enjoy 
sharing with you. Thanks for letting me teach a little bit. 